How's it, everyone? How's it, new subscribers as well? Welcome aboard. This is Gary from Kiwi Fly Fisherman. What can I say, guys? I've got three days up here, two nights, and we got the fly rod. We're going to have a blast on this beautiful backcountry river. Uh, this is Lord of the Rings territory, and uh, the river flow is kind of right at the top end of what I like fishing. You know, it's kind of around 76 cubic meters a second, ideally below 75. So, hey, guys, welcome aboard. Let's get out there and have some fun. Thanks again for joining the Kiwi Fly Fisherman. So we're going to head down Fisherman's Lane. And this is the first time I've been here, guys. Look at this lovely view from up here. Oh, mate, that's pretty. So we're going to be heading down that way on the true right of this river. It's a new area. I haven't fished it before. Really looking forward to this. Oh, it's so good to be out here. Actually, this looks familiar from uh, one of our Malcolm's, Malcolm Bell, from the Complete Anglers videos. That little rock there looks familiar. Yeah, this looks like where Malcolm was that time. Looks like there was a big cruiser down beneath here. That's what I thought was a fish before down there, but that's not a fish. Got a little love's lure on at the end here. With a, kind of a stonefly imitation. Man, it would be nice to see a riser in here somewhere. Uh, a few boot prints along there. Hmm. Right. Time to get the spinner out. Ah, I thought I saw a rise up there, guys. Typical. As I put the spinning rod in. <laughs> oh, there we go again. If you caught that, there's a rise up there. <laughs> oh, that's so typical. Ah, I've just put the spinner on. I've just lost one in this big pool here, guys. <laughs> just after the drop off there. Nice big hit. Got off. Didn't set that single hook. Ah, oh, it's fun though. First hit on the, the lure. Such a nice pool, eh? You'd have to think there's fish in there. So I got the little green and black ticer on with a single hook. Yeah, that was a nice solid little bump, bumpity rump.
Right, we're going to take you for a tour around the campsite. See, I've reversed the vehicle in here. Easy to get out. The river is probably oh, a couple hundred meters that way. Up here we have the beautiful nature hike TP. Kind of a tight squeeze. She's got a big footprint area, so I've had to kind of make do. Set it up here and it's looking out there. Beautiful view. I've set the hammock up over here. And I'm uh, about to make myself a bit of a bite to eat. But how's this brought the garden hammock? This is what you call glamping, guys. <coughs> so, you can see I've opened the door. Got that lovely awning, this uh, TP tent. Take you in and show you. Inside is luxury, mate. Absolute luxury. Mattress. Nice old sleeping bag that I've opened up as the uh, the throw down sleeping bag on top of that. I've got another blanket that I've brought with a wool blanket. Got this little chair here. Uh, this is so luxurious at the moment. <laughs> I've still got this little seat here. Uh, so, folks, thanks again for joining the Taylor Man. Kiwi fly fisherman, no fish today. Just pacing myself, hey, I've had a bit of a bad head cold the last two weeks running, mate. My view is spectacular. Check it out, guys. Snowy mountains in the background. That's Arahon Station, Mount Sunday, just at the base of all that snow there. Uh, that's the, what, the, what do they call it, Edoras in Lord of the Rings. So tomorrow, the plan will be to get up and go early tomorrow. I'm going to head up. I'm not going to head normally. We'll head straight across the valley, Steve and I. He's not here with me now, so I'm probably going to head straight to the sweet spot. Head straight up. Uh, confluence of the two rivers up there. Anyway, guys, I'm going to chill out in the hammock. Got the old hammock set up over there. I brought some reading material, including Mona Anderson, Over the River. And this one is a special one. This book was published the day before I was born, the year before I was born. And that was in 66. And it's actually got, it's a signed copy. Best wishes, Mona Anderson. How cool is that? I picked it up from a thrift shop somewhere. So I'm enjoying the read. But different to the other book. Uh, River Rules My Life. <clears throat> Alrighty. <clears throat> How should we start this one? <laughs> we'll go old school, easy as. Fancy some lemon treats, anyone? <laughs> Afternoon cup of tea or coffee? <coughs> Gee, the kids haven't left me many. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Oh well, just a couple will be good.
think we've got a roll and boil there guys oh yeah roll and boil Cheers. Creamy and sweet lemon delight. <coughs> to go with the black coffee. Awesome. Right guys, time to get food prepped for tea and lunch for tomorrow on the river. We've got beef topside steak here, just over 500 grams. A couple of pita breads. We've got some beautiful 5.1% alcohol here, Moa Wild Coast black beer. And in here we've got a bit of sherry. There's a taste of India, Korma. Classic mild, smooth and creamy Hyderabad recipe. <clears throat> right, first things first. This here Moab, guys. <clears throat> Suckle in that. Oh. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> <clears throat> quite nice very nice all right let's get to it oh. have a look see there we go it's cubed up In here is the korma sauce, but at the back here is the spice seasoning, mate. So we'll just keep that aside for now. It's free of gluten, added MSGs, artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives. This stuff is the real deal. Seriously yummy. And in there is a little bag, and it's got all the spices that you need for this dish. Again, they try and make it easy to get the stuff out. It's even a little recipe book. Check out that, guys. They make it so easy. <laughs> it's 
step one, heat two tablespoons of cooking oil, which I didn't bring, in a medium-sized saucepan. Add the sachet of korma whole spice. It's my old army knife. I served in the South African Defense Force for a number of years. There's a little Victory Knox knife. I left there as a major, commissioned rank of major. Oh, this stuff is going to be hot, 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 hot. Yeah, I was in the army. I was an instructor at a place called Infantry School in Otsar. Uh Then I went to study human resource management. And uh, then the army lured me back, <laughs> not just me, a whole bunch of guys, short service contracts. Instead of being an instructor, they roped me in as an adjutant. <coughs> Fun times. Then I did a core transfer across to the uh, South, South African Medical Services. I was 2RC of a medical kind of outfit looking after the uh, Army, Air Force, Navy and ourselves, the medics. Woo, buddy, look at this. Let's check this out. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, so here we are in New Zealand. Alright guys, time to get this stuff, I'll show you how you pour it, it just kind of goes in quite easily actually. I really should just heat those naan breads up. time. Summer time. <laughs> Just after 8 o'clock at night. Oh, I reckon we've still got about 20 minutes. I can't see the mountain top there, but maybe 15, 20 minutes before the sun goes behind them hills. I'm going to add some of these cashews. It's a new bag too. More plastic. I'm trying to crush some of these up with my hands. Full bodied flavour now, eh? Mm. Wow. <clears throat> the mower was a big flightless bird here in New Zealand, those of you who don't know extinct now. Must have been good to eat. Oh. Let's give it that last bit of the old mower juice. Well guys, I'm going to have a meal soon. I'll check back in with you later. Maybe a bit of music. A bit more reading. Tomorrow morning will be an early start. Probably gets lighter around 5 o'clock. Quarter to 5. So I might be up around 5 tomorrow. Making the breakfast. For breakfast I've got... Uncle Toby's Oats. That's the creamy vanilla flavour. I want to add a few cashews to that and some craisins, dried cranberries. It'll be brekkie. This will be on the river for lunch or leftovers. 
and I've got some energy bars and stuff like that. So, yeah. <clears throat> Picked this up at the thrift shop. By the way, I'll go to the Salvation Army shop and buy most of this gear. If I'm not buying it from AliExpress. This I picked up for about 50 cents, a dollar. And it's got... Oh, it's got some lovely port, kind of port sherry. Port, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, guys, we'll check back with you later. Right. How's it, everyone? Breakfast on board. And it's time to get out there on the river. Slept in a bit this morning. I didn't slip through the alarm. Five o'clock. Alarm went off. I was truly woke up at about 24 minutes past five. <laughs> so, at six o'clock, got a good breakfast on board. Got all my kit. And folks, you don't want to look at me, eh? You want to check out the scenery this morning because it's beautiful. How about some comments below? Are you an early bird? Do you like getting up early? Or do you like lying in? What's your choice? If you're a mad keen fisherman like me, you'll be up early. It's just one of the things that you do. Grew up on a farm though, so it's not a problem for me getting up early. <coughs> I used to have a student once, Arnold I think was his name. He asked, uh, asked me if I, if I was an owl or a fowl. <laughs> I didn't get it at first. Uh, anyway guys, good to be out here. Good to be on this river and fishing soon. Looking so forward to today. By the way, on my own, Steve's away in the North Island with his family. <clears throat> but he'll be joining me again one of these days. I do have one of Steve's bit of kit. Uh, and that is... I've got Steve's locator beacon in my bag. He bought an e a little while ago. Electronic locator, personal locator beacon. Uh, it's a nice peace of mind actually just to have it on board. What do you guys think? Four or five hundred dollars worth it? You can get the uh, in-reach ones from Garmin. They kind of Loud two-way communication, which is nice, but then you got to hook up a subscription. An annual kind of subscription. Got to be on a plan and whatnot. Because the stuff can get weather, forecast through to you. All of that stuff. So, what do you reckon? You think it's worth carrying an e -perb if you do this kind of stuff? <clears throat> that being said, it's Christmas holidays. Merry Christmas, by the way. <laughs> Bit belated. <sighs> so compliments of the season to you all, everyone. <sighs> Hope you're going to round out the year well. It's been a tough year for all, no doubt. Look forward to 2021. Right now, looking forward to 2020 on these fish get that one <laughs> all right i believe with the tahara trail they head up through that gorge there between the Gap in the trees there, up through that gorge, and over them ranges. I think that's the two thumbs. 
range back there. <clears throat> Ah, that's stunning, guys. That is so stunning. Come on. Back towards the campsite. Hmm. This is where I've been heading to, guys. So, what's the time now? It's 25 to 7. You can see one of the braids branching down towards the campsite here. <coughs> As you can see the river's getting a lot more established here now. A bit bigger, a bit bolder. So when you start finding the runs now, there's a strong likelihood of fish. Unlike those very unstable runs earlier on that I've seen. The bigger fish kind of like sitting in the more stable water, hey? There's a nice run coming up here. You could fish it from both sides. Crikey, what a day. What a day. Oh. So up there you've got the Nowhere Station. Actually, if you say it the other way around, the Erewhon Station. That's what it's called, the Erewhon Station. Mount Sunday, just coming into the sunlight there now. Beautiful. No place I'd rather be, guys. All right, we're gonna do a bit of blind casting up here before the yellow sun comes out. I've just changed to a, a blowfly and kind of black gnat imitation. Blowfly is about a size 14 and I can see it nicely. All right. Oh, it's nice and deep here. Yeah. Might need a heavier nymph actually. This water's flowing. She's flowing low and low. And Tidy that up. Nice. Maybe that's going to be the one, guys. Definitely see the blow fly nicely. Mm -hmm. 
Lots of current, yeah. And real swirly. <laughs> real swirly. Good fishing water here, yeah, Gary. Nice little hole coming coming off the side. Deep there. Probably need a longer drop, eh? I've got about a three foot there. Probably need a four and a half foot drop on that nymph. Okay guys, there's a big fish, probably about just after this little first little stream cutting in here. Here's a nice fish, here's a biggie. I was just about to put a long cast into this channel here and I saw him. So I don't need such a long cast. Oh, here's a nice one. So, shorten up the game. Oh, he's a lovely fish. So, typical. <clears throat> he's sitting sitting just after the stream here. You've got to be careful how you approach him. Might be worth wading in here. So I can put my line out into the softer water. Don't get dragged by this. <laughs> yeah, he's a nice fish. Oh, boy. First nice fish of the day and my heart's pounding. Don't need such a long cast either. That's right over him actually. <laughs> Could have been a bit short Gary. Yeah, a bit short there. So I'm going to go just with that, guys. Just with that nymph there. No indicator. Man, he's sitting just off this blimmin'. Right here in front, guys. Right here in front of this little, this little channel here. Wow, man, and he's a nice fish. Goodness. Almost worth high sticking it here. Ah, oh, he's a nice boy. I think he's a brownie. I often see the rainbow sitting like this. off to the left of him. Oh, he's in such a tough little spot eh? Wow. Hard to spot this. 
can be really hard to spot a Tokyo. Hmm, so I think I'm going to try this one. It's a big hare's ear. It's probably size 12, that. Alright guys. Let's see how we get on here now. Don't want to spook him. It's not moving, eh? Alright, guys. The fish is still there. What can we try now? Look. for my dry fly I thought I waited there guys he came up so beautifully and gently oh what happened there guys there was a beautiful gentle rise to that dry man oh man I waited oh buddy so that was lovely he rose to this baby right here. Mate, how on earth did I miss that? I waited. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's the name of the game, guys. You win some and you lose some. In that case, that big brownie. Man, the whole mouth came up. Now he may have just not taken it fully, but could have dragged out of his mouth. No, I certainly waited there, guys. So he was sitting right here. I'll show you right, right there. Just on the other side of this channel here. By crikey. I'm going to head back. I think I see some nice water down there. Oh, there's nice water coming up all over here. Oh, this is what it's all about, eh, this fishery. These long runs like this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's got a good flow in it. See a few froth lines out there. Some magic water coming up. I think this is close to where I caught the other one a couple of months ago. It's hard to read because the river changes. These braided rivers. <clears throat> but it looks kind of like they're coming off to the left up ahead there. That's where I might have hooked that other boy. Man, there's a nice pool in running there too. Gee. Wow, it's just so amazing to stand stand in this environment. Ah. Oh. It doesn't happen very often. Get hooked up on the bank behind me. Uh, 
<clears throat> Need to get it out a bit further, Gary. Got a six pound tippet on you now. There's some action there guys, I can see some movement, something moved under that, oh there's a big fish there, I think he came up, yes he did, there's a big fish there, he came up to see my fly, wow yes, <laughs> oh I nearly stopped there, so you don't want to go further up here because he's a nice fish. That's why you need the long cast, guys. I think I'm going to swap out, put a uh, green beetle on, just the green beetle. So, guys, it's meant to be a little green beetle imitation. And that's all I've got on now. So, let's see how we get on with this fish. I know he's there, I've seen him. And there's a biggie. Stopping moments, yeah. Four. <clears throat> really are hard stopping moments. I can't see where that fire landed now. Oh, yeah. few big fish in here. Whoa. I'm shaking a bit guys. Man's a bit nervous here. Because I think these are some biggies. Where's my fly? I can't even see it now. <laughs> Thing with a long cast, eh? I think my fly's still off to the left. Oh, guys. Oh, boy. Really hard stopping moments. I might need a little drop nymph off here. Big fish in you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think that's a big rainbow I saw there. He's sitting down though. Oh, he's a biggie. Oh my gosh. Lord have mercy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the big boy is right here in front of you guys. He's a nice sized fish. Wowzers. Beautiful size fish. Yeah, that could have been just a bit too on top of him. Oh, he's a nice fish. Buddy. He's a big boy. Oh, come on. A disaster. Oh, 
Oh gosh, this is just what you don't want to happen when you're casting to a big fish. See that, guys? Of course, it happens now. Right here. Right here, right on the water. In front of the big boys. This will be one knot territory, too. Come on, man. Gary, this is amateur stuff. Okay, got rid of that one knot. <laughs> it was a biggie. Don't ask me how, but anyway, right, that's how they happen, boy. So I think I did spook this big rainbow because he came right back to here, to the back of this run, which is not common. But he's been feeding right up there the whole time. So, needless to say, hello, we'll give it another crack. There might be another one there. A bit of a drag on it there. Just see a drag. See that big shadow still there? He moved back to that, so either the nymph didn't get down. That's a good sign though. That's a good sign. Oh. Oh yes, oh yes, 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 oh baby, this is a big fish, oh he's off, oh he's off, how did he get off? Oh, must have followed that round. Oh, how did he get off? Something bust off you guys. Oh no, Gary, you're not. Oh, you're not. Guys. Oh, mate, I don't believe it. A solid fish and it's got off. Well, after all those jet boats have come through here, I've walked up about another half a mile, uh, almost a kilometer, and look, what a stunning piece of water. Goodness me. So guys, been a bit of a hard day, no fish yet. No fish in the net yet. <laughs> Good news with this. What is you can spy them a bit. Just need to take your time, Gary. Like there are some shapes down there. 
could be big brown trout sitting there. He's got to watch carefully. Get too close, the boys will spot you up here. Got an amazing view, these uh, field of view, these trout. And that's typically where the big brownies will sit right there. Just off the edge. <clears throat> it's looking for movement. Really lovely water. Oh, I think these jet boats are coming back down, guys. I'm just going to have a look, see along the bank here. And I think it's turnaround, guys. Whew, man's a bit tired. Legs are feeling it. So Mount Sunday is probably only a couple of k's now. Let's see the cocky's paddock here. There's a house up on the right behind those trees there. And where that dust is back there, that's a car driving along. There's a bridge that crosses the Potts River. That's the road down towards Erehorn Station, just back there. Man, it's some big country, guys. Check out the lupins. Beautiful. All right, guys, we've got some creamy chicken curry pasta and sauce in there. I added the leftover Kransky's sausages. I've just put some lovely cashew nuts in here so it's again kind of like a curry dish tonight it's gonna be so yummy and we're gonna have a few more flatbreads with a bit of the coke mate ah, cheers everyone that's where we took on the trout today and lost. <laughs> All right, folks, this is my signing off before I hit the sack. It's pushing 8 o'clock. I'm in a lion reed. I've enjoyed a bit of hammock time this afternoon. Man, disappointing. I tried today, but I learned a lesson, you know, putting new monofilament off the end of the tapered lead. I put a, a double-looped line-to-line knot. I should have put three or four loops through there, mate. Because that big rainbow, he took off, and that's where the line separated. Sadly, lesson learned. But a great day out there today. I'm knackered. I'm not as fit as I've, I'm usually out there handling this, but my feet are sore. Uh, I did well. I did well given I've been unwell for the last couple of weeks. Oh, guys, i got a fish on here. Nice little rainbow on the maps. Changed my tactics here. Oh yeah, it's a lovely fish. <laughs> There's a beauty. He's not very happy. Okay, see if we can get him in the net. See if we can get him in the net. <laughs> yes, he's in the net. Yay, buddy. Okay. Finally a bit of success here, guys. Thank you, Lord. Just in this little channel here, guys. Check it out. There's the lovely rainbow. Probably a pound and a half, two pounder. <laughs> so, patience paid off. It's been a tough, t 
tough day. And there she is, guys. It's a lovely rainbow. She's coming home to feed the family. So, guys, thanks again for joining us. If you love these kind of movies, feel free to thumbs up, subscribe. And I really appreciate your helpful comments, useful comments. So, take care, everybody. Spot you next time.